So micro foundations are where macroeconomic models are derived from microeconomic assumptions. We use individual agents' constraints and decisions and then aggregate this. The macroeconomy is then the aggregate outcome of individual behaviour. We thus get a deeper understanding of why macro relationships occur and our economic models are internally consistent. This means that every part of our economic models are built on the same assumptions. So micro foundations gained growing traction in the 1970s, for example, when we saw the Lucas critique in his 1976 paper. This effectively said that we can't use past data on relationships between macro variables to say what will happen after a future policy change, as individual behaviour will change when policy changes. The relationship shown by past data may no longer be true after a policy change. For example, we saw this with stagflation in the 1970s in the US, as unemployment and inflation trade-off, as seen by the Phillips curve, broke down when policymakers tried to exploit it. This was due to adaptive expectations of individual economic agents, meaning that when policymakers tried to exploit the relationship, the relationship ceased to exist in the long run and potentially even in the short run. However, micro foundations of macro models do run into a couple of problems. One thing is that micro foundations require strong assumptions that are not necessarily observed in reality. For example, we often assume a representative consumer or that every consumer is the same and then we just conduct these optimization problems for this one representative consumer and then aggregate this up to the whole economy. Is it better to assume past data holes in the future or just to assume things about people that we know is not true, for example perfect homogeneous agents? However, just because it's hard doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. We can actually change these very strong assumptions such that we have different agents with different preferences. It's just very difficult to formulate a model based on this information. However, as economics advances, we should get better at doing this. And so this should improve the micro founding of our macro models. And the subject becomes a lot more scientific and theory based. This is the sort of thing that Lucas argued in his paper. It is much more satisfying when we eventually find a theory that does agree with the data that was formulated from economic theory instead of just observing something in the data and then later trying to explain it by coming up with theory after the fact. So that wraps up my video on micro foundations. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please do drop a like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.